welcome in everybody. Tonight is Witchy 101. And we're, there is usually three of us guys. There's usually myself and my beautiful sister Willow. Who, and also Mystical Love and Light. Mystical is a little bit under the weather right now. So she might be in the chat guys. She might even pop up to say hello. Who knows? Did I shout at my dog? Yeah, she's just not very well at the minute, guys. So just please keep her in your head still and like do your prayers for Mystical and everyone and for Pups and his mum. Even though she's out of hospital, thank God. Still do those prayers and stuff. It really helps. Prayer is very powerful. Says you're muted. <laughs> oh, my it's but sparkles barking, so she's keep turning not, it off. I've got to do it sometimes. We've not done it for a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. So tonight, guys, we are just going to go over a little bit about what everything that we've done on the Witchy 101 so far. Maybe even if some of you are in the chat and you want to come up and tell us if we've helped you, if there's anything that you want to add, or even just tell your story or something, it's totally up to you. But tonight, you have. I've got me, who is Drew, or Athena, and I am Drew's paranormal vlog, because that's what it's going back to. <laughs> I've got four oh, yeah. days, I think, to go. So, a bit of paranormal, a bit of witchcraft, a little bit of spirituality. Also, I'm trying my hardest to keep to doing the tarot of the day. And so is Sister now as well, so keep an eye on that, guys. And both of us are doing it. Um, and yeah, just keep an eye on the channel, guys, and see what comes up next is all I can advise you. But what do you think, sister, about the Witchy 101 after you introduce yourself, of course? What do you think about it all? So I'm Willow. I'm from PWI Spiritual Investigators, known as Paranormal World Investigators. I'm obviously a witch and investigator of all things strange and unknown. My channel, like Sister Drew's, we've got bits of everything paranormal, spiritual, educational, uh, home life, witchy stuff. Like, all oh, you name it, we've got it. Uh, so that's my channel. If, so if you're interested in those sort of things and you like all the spiritual and the bizarre and strange, then our channels are definitely for you. We'll just wait for Sister Drew to come back and then we'll start talking about our views on Witchy 101. I do apologise, yes. guys. I don't I've know what it is. Sparkle just likes to say hello, I think. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, Dash has, been, Dash has been weird today as well. Like, proper weird. I don't know what's getting full into my moon. It's the full moon. Yeah, it is. It's the full, full moon. moon. Um, yeah, that's and what it is, is supposed to be wolf year. And they are linked to wolf. So maybe they're going for a scrappy moment. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Think about our community and what we're all based on. We're all based on the wolves and things. Because I would say that... Well, that was last week, was... Kerry. Kerry, that was last week it was postponed because people oh, yeah, were yeah. well. Oh, that's right. Would I take that pinned comment? But yeah, it's, it's a wolf moon. So I think if any of you have got pooches and doggies or anything like that, be aware because it is the, uh, the wolf year. Okay. So they could be a little bit oh, off key. Right. Oh, Hello, Hello, Kerry. Hello, Kerry. Welcome in, everybody. I do apologise for that link still being up. Wait, I'll just share out. So, before we say what we think about our Witchy 101, what are you guys thinking about it? Are you being educated? Are you learning? Are you finding that you're finding your path a little bit more? Are you excited to dive into more of Witchy 101? Give us your views, guys, in the comments. You know, like, your feedback and how we're doing with you really does help because then we can kind of brush up where you might still be a bit stuck and is everything okay? And... Yeah, just a little bit of feedback. But guys, I mean, tonight yeah, we were going to do connect. There's our beautiful life. sister in now, Mystical. Good, sis. You watch on the TV. You relax. You've earned it. Yeah, yeah, we just really, we were going to do connecting, but then we're mystical not feeling too well, we thought we would just do a recap, and, and I think maybe sister sharing that next week we'll do season two, we'll start it off as season two if you want, 
because series we've got a bit about a break just now. We could do like season two where it's all about the connecting and the higher energies and things. So that would be interesting. Yeah, well, I think like season two should be should be about that. It should be about the connecting, about how to connect with your deities, understanding what your diet is and different gods and goddesses and things like that. Because it's really important you understand about everything, guys. You know what I mean? So yeah, next week could be season two. Yeah, so and there's so many cool. things you connect to as well. I mean, oh, yeah. I know Not for a wee for a wee girl that I've been connected to the moon, as I've told you, the moon's just a draw to me. She has been for was a young girl. I don't know if that is what keeps me kind of sane. I know a lot of people say, "How at the moon?" Oh, you know, we're kind of got wolf the energy around us. <laughs> welcome in, Uncle Danny. Welcome in, Christina. So welcome in everybody. So, yeah, we're just looking for a little bit of feedback, I think, tonight, aren't we, sister? Just to see if yeah, we do. We want to just know how we're doing because even though, like, we do this every day and you know we know what we're doing in that, the educating you guys that to this extent is new to us. So we do need to know what you're what you're thinking. Are we yeah. going in the right direction? We're going too fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think there's something we've missed? Is it? There... I know we've not really touched on crystals and things. But that's yeah, but also that's what I wanted to add. Well, that would be good for the point. connecting. Crystals would be more for the connecting side of things, like how to bring yeah. them in and use them. And I wanted to, I was saying to Sister Sherry before we went live as well, I know that under a few of our, on a couple of our videos, there's been comments asking about different things and it's to do with Witchy 101. Just to put it straight just now, guys, we are a clan group of amazing sisters and brothers when they want to join who have came together as a family, but none of us are higher than the other. We are all equal. We all have different paths. Some of us have got paths. Sister Sherry and I are connected in a lot of ways. But oh, we're yeah. channels, guys. Our channels, that is why we do it. One week in my channel, one week in Sherry's channel. In Mystical, we always give the videos to. Um, we I have came together as a clan. A, a, a coven, a lot of people call it, but we're a clan. So we come together that, to teach people. But we, we're, channels are still separate. So for all we are teaching is together, there is certain things on each of our channels that is unique to our channels. And if you want to check that out, and it mostly it'll be to date to do with the witchcraft, the spirituality and things, then you do have to go to that other person's channel and kind of abide by their rules, if you like, such as with me, my memberships, when I start my woodland walks, all the woodland walks are going to be on my membership. None of that is going to be on my channel. So a lot of behind of the, the scene footage that I take my clients will be on my memberships. Sister Sherry as well. There's some things that Sister Sherry does in her channel, like the meditations that I don't do. So for And, and then with Mystical as well. Mystical does a lot of oils, a lot of workings. And I know she's going to put all that behind the paywall on the memberships. So if you want each of these things, then you still have to go to each of our channels for that, guys, is what I wanted to say. Just to make that clear while it is a recap show tonight, that um, we are all different. We have got different things that we do in our channel. So just kind of abide by each of our rules is just the only thing I wanted to say about that. But Sister Sherry's meditations, let's talk about that just for a moment. Guys, I have been trying to meditate, oh my goodness, all my life, really. I am honestly really have. I've always thought I was going into a meditation and then it would be like more of a, just a kind of thought. Um, and then I would fall asleep. I, I daydream a lot and I can usually connect through my daydreams. But for Sister Sherry put out the, and I've told you this before, a couple of weeks ago, Sister Sherry put out a meditation um, and I was sitting here and I, I was listening to it and thinking about it is one of the only ones I've really ever listened to down in the witch room. So I just sat back here like I always do. If I'm talking to my goddess, I sit this way. If I'm watching something like that, like you guys, I sit here. So I was sitting here and I was listening to the meditation and I was shutting my eyes. And, and I swear, slowly by slowly, 
when the fall and the breathing and things, I slowly went into, as I told you before, what looked like seeing me from behind. But I could tell it was me. And I, I had like a kind of old-fashioned Scottish outfit on. It wasn't tartan or anything. It was more like a, a grey-green. I had that on. And at my feet, when looking at my image, at my feet there was like heather and different things. And the hills and things were all heather. And But it looked like a brown, it's like almost like a, like a filter over things, like a brownish atmosphere. But I could tell, being in this meditation, that I was in the Scottish hills and glens. I, I knew I was watching myself. I knew it was an experience that I have had at some point in time or I'm having on the other side. So that was great, it was amazing. And then I tried some other meditations. I know Mark bayersky has got a few. Couldn't meditate, I've tried a few other ones. Nothing ever worked. And then the other day I sat here again and I was playing some meditations on there trying to connect. And I thought, I'm going to listen to Sister Sherry's again and see if I can wonder. And guys, like that, the minute her voice came on and, and I just sat here listening to it. And that was me, I was back in that exact space. So now I know what video I'm going to keep going to, to try and egg that experience on, if you like, because that is new to me. I've never had that deeper connection before. So I'm going to look out the video, and I think I've shared it before, but I'll do it again, and I'll put it in the comments, and I'll pin it, because I want you guys to try it. I want you to see if the meditation that she specifically did that day that worked for me, maybe work for yours, or, and see what it takes you as well. Because it could be one of those meditation that connects to our inner soul and takes each of us on our own journey. So it's taking me on my journey I want. I, think, I actually think it's a past life, but I'm not sure on that yet, because I'm all new to that. So that's interesting. And sister Sherry, so do you want to say a bit about how you do your meditations or something? Well, like for me, like with my meditations and stuff, none of the music or anything I put out is stuff that I can't relate to. I always sit and study the music and stuff that I get first if I feel any effects or anything from it. Because obviously, being spiritual, I know when something's going to be working or not. So a lot of the meditation music I put out is stuff that I've been able to connect with. And so then I've decided to make that meditation music in it. Now, at first, I wasn't going to do it with the voice. But I've had a lot of people that come over and go, you've got a very soothing and a very, like, during voice. You really pull people in with your voice. My Rudy even says it all the time. My Rudy would fall asleep to me talking to him when I talk gently and stuff and he's like you just got that voice so I thought you know what every meditation I watch it's always just music and people sit in there and a lot of people don't know how to do meditation properly okay so I thought I'm gonna talk through it I'm gonna tell you how to do your breathing I'm gonna give you little scenarios little things to make you feel at peace and make you feel like you're really somewhere you know what I mean because that's what how you need to feel you need to feel like you're not in this realm you're you're going somewhere else to be able to connect, you know what I mean? So that's why I do the voiceover, because it is so much more effective than just putting a bit of music on. I'm sorry, but it is. And um, But I'm not going to be staying to the point of and levels of the meditation. Please I'm doing the I hope everything's going good. Poof, gone. Okay, pups, love you. Like, love you. At, at the minute, I'm just like opening you guys to the meditation stuff there's so many other forms and elements to meditation on how to meditate to get your deities and your energies and your angels and everything else to come forward to you how to meditate to balance yourself to clean your chakras i'm going to do all of these meditations with you but it's going to have talking in it because my yeah, voice that's good. That. but yeah, i am going to be doing a few a few meditations where i don't talk in it i'm going to start illustrating my tongue drums and I've got this app that's got an app on it, on my phone. And mm. I've been doing little tunes. And, oh, my God, some of the stuff mm. that comes out on it, you're going to love it, guys. Good. So, lots of stuff coming that way. And I love meditation, which is why I'm so good at it. And I get it because I feel it and I know how it works. And it yeah. isn't just sitting down, closing your eyes and just sitting there. You've really got to put yourself into it for it to work. 
you know what I mean? Yeah. So you need somebody that can make you do that. Good, so, thank you, my Cool. I've added on Penna. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm, 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 you I love okay. your voice. I know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and there's been a lot of people that have actually been really positive about my meditation. And they've said, since yeah. listening to your meditation has really helped. Your voice seems to help me. You take my depression away. You make me feel really good about myself. I've been having experiences. That's what's supposed to be happening. But you're having experiences in a safe way because obviously the music that I do, I always make sure that the music that I use has got forms of protection and other things in it so that when you're going under, you're not going into a place that you shouldn't be going into sort of thing. Okay, so... Yeah. And... I don't you know. Like, you know I've had people that go, "Oh no, you shouldn't talk through it." You know, like just have just the music. But I don't. I don't think it's the same when it's just the music. What are you really getting from just having music there? Like, just sit there and go, go off. You know what I mean? I think like when you're just starting out and you're new at it, you need somebody to instruct you and help you. You know what I mean? Once you yeah, get I that, yeah, I find it really helpful. Your voice, mm -hmm. yeah, I do because. See, I think a lot of the time with me with my meditation, if it's only music, I kind of drift off. Whereas with your voice being there, it kind of draws me back in, if you know what I mean. You giving us the focus on your voice helps me, which will probably help a lot of other people as well in that way. Whereas maybe some of them do like them just the music. But to me, your voice helps me keep my focus. Because to me, I'm listening to the music around me, yeah, that's keeping me like kind of in that frame. But it's your voice that is that is taking us where, where it's to go, where we have to go, if you know what I mean. I think if your yeah. voice wasn't there, we would just be sitting in the, the state of trying to make Yeah, and that's me. why I do it. And, and, you know, I know that like a lot of people... Um, They'll just do like the music and stuff, but I've, like I've sat there and done that, and I thought I'm really yeah. not feeling how I want to feel from that. I'm not feeling like I'm being moved the right way. I'm not feeling quite completely comfortable or safe doing it that way. So, because I'm somebody that's always done meditation, I'm quite I'm quite knowing about it. You know what I mean? So I thought, you know what, they need to have a vo they need to have my voice in it. And like you're saying, them um, Evie sis. Most likely, because you're bringing people through meditation, the goddess is most likely working for you. Now, my meditation all started out in nature. I would talk to nature. I would ask nature to, you know, connect with me, show me what they want me to do in that. And a lot of my meditation started off in nature. And I do think that when I do my meditation, I have elements of my gods and goddesses in me. That's why I have that voice, because yeah. I'm using yeah. their energy and their way to do that. Because a lot of the, um, a lot of people say, if you want to meditate and stuff, go and sit in nature. And it's true. Go and sit, go and sit in nature and put Sherry's video on and oh, you'll know yeah. what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> literally. I'm not I'll picking myself. I'll probably use it for my clients. Yeah. I'm not, See, I'm I'm not picking my myself up. I don't, think I'm, I don't think I'm the world's best meditator. I'm not picking myself up at all. But I do think that my meditation works. I do. I do. Yeah, of course. But that's helpful, though, because to me, as somebody that can't really meditate the traditional way with the music and with the different voices and drums and things, I was actually quite surprised, and I'll be honest about it, because I was just thinking, right, OK, another meditation I'll try, and I'll probably go back to my daydreaming. But it really did work, guys, and it did... It, and it's totally different from my daydreaming meditation as well. Because when I go into my daydream meditation, I'm more focused on imagining myself in the future. I'm more visualising myself manifesting my future. Whereas that was completely different to me, actually seeing myself as a third person. I'd never had that before. That was connecting you. My meditation yeah. was connecting you to things that you're maybe not able to get to, but now you are because you're letting it open. Yeah. And I do think a lot of it is with you opening as well, sis, because you are opening more now. Maybe you're starting to feel those effects True. as well. And, yeah. and I do think that if you've got a good voice and you've got a good educator, then you can you can bloody do it. You can. It just yeah. takes time and it takes practice. The more you do it, the better it gets, you know. 
It's not just going to Remember, guys, if anybody wants to come up tonight, you're welcome to come up. I'm just yeah, not come putting on. it in the chat in case anybody randomly comes up. But you're come welcome to come up and join us tonight. Yeah, just let us know and I'll send you the link, guys. I so just, just think that that meditation is so helpful. And because this is a teaching class, I really do think that um, a lot of you will, will really find that one helpful. And I will pin it to the comments and this for the people that watch it after this live stream. You know, because it really is so helpful, guys. It really put me in a place where I could see myself. And that's good. And I'm glad that I do that. I can totally relax into meditation and trust you bringing me through the journey. If you were, if you weren't talking us through, I would be opening my eyes to see what is Welcome happening. So, lose, so I would lose concentration. Exactly. You want somebody that keeps you in that that focus. Yeah, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. and when and the as thing well, is, like you is, when you get so deep into it, you'll notice it in it. When I do it, yeah, you get yeah. so deep into it, and then you're like, okay, I'm feeling something, and then I'll start bringing more positive, like words over to you. Be like, right now, you should yeah, start yeah. feeling more positive. If you're mm. starting to feel the energy around you, just imagine yourself in a, a in a plane of open water, and it's surrounding you. I try to do things to help you to keep feeling like you're you're guarded. And you're protected because it's so important because meditation isn't just meditation yeah, you know meditation connects you it opens you it, it 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 plays with your abilities it brings your abilities to light so it's really important to make sure that you're guiding people in We're the okay, right way Taylor. what's happening we're just talking and having a Mysticals recap a little today. bit under the weather that's why she's not joining us tonight yeah so just a little bit of a recap welcome in jason and it's nice to see you back out ghost hunting again, Jason. Mm. Jason the ghost hunter. Nice to see you back out there. Yeah, so Plus, guys, remember it's more that... personable because the music and the guidance is coming from one of our, our own, own instead of all these out there not knowing where or who it, it's from exactly it is better See, that gives us the yes, the trust issue that's the trust issue yeah. whereas we trust mr sherry to bring us through the meditation but then to be honest with you i never thought about that before you do have to have trust when you're using somebody's meditation because you don't know where they're going to take you so i've never thought of that before <laughs> to be honest <laughs> but yeah it's probably is because we do trust sister sherry we know her voice but then again, it's not such a voice. Do. It's so different. And you, and you know that anything that I do is for the better of you all. And because I want you to be at your true potential, but I want you to be safe doing it. That's We're all like that. That's why I mean yeah. Sister Drew and, all, and Sister Mystical and all you, you lot are doing what we're doing on Witchy 101 because we're all together and we can all support each other through it. You know what I mean? Like Sister Drew yeah. said, yes, we're here as Witchy 101, but we do have our opposite channels. And we are different in how we think and we see, but we just all go really well together. And like Sister Drew said, I have my meditation and I do my uplifting and my music and my singing and I do all that sort of stuff, which I'm a re I'm yeah. really about helping people to come out of their self, you know what I mean? And then you go yes. to Sister Drew's and Sister Drew's the paranormal and putting up spell bits and, and doing all that. Yeah. Same as Mystical. Mystical's about oh, the, you know, teaching and putting the spell stuff out there and all that as well we're all very different very very different but we go like, really well together. Like under the table then. you don't know if there is some negative coding behind you. exactly yeah That's and some good. people can't the thing is is when you get this meditation where people make it their self you don't know what they're putting into that music when they're making it their self you know what i mean and a lot of them don't yeah. test it to make sure it's safe. I do. And if, like, people come up to me and go, yeah, but you're, you're not using music you've made. I said, but yeah, but I'm using music that I've used all of my life and through my spirituality. And I've sat there time and time again and I've tested it and made sure that it's okay for me to use and to go with other people. It's not like I've yeah. just found, found one and just put it out there. I have studied it and I'm like, right, yep, that's good. That's got the right tone in. That's still right for this show. Oh, this one would be good for this show. Because obviously there's different vibration and different toning and sounding that you need for different elements. Like I do water, nature. 
I do all sorts of different ones, spiritual healing, cleansing, and there's always going to be different tones and vibration you're going to need in each of those meditations. You know what I mean? So I look for that. Yeah. And then my voice just is like, my voice is an added voice. Yeah, but I found it. I mean, the, your voice to me, it just goes into so many different tones, and you can tell when you're, you can tell when you channel because you can tell oh, yeah. that the voice total changes and your face changes. Even in the meditations, though, I've noticed that sometimes, the, like that one you, that I've just watched, it's not a meditation as such, it's the one where the dragons are letting us get a message from you. Even in that, your voice changes so much and you can tell when you're back to your own voice and then yeah. you can tell when it's your channeling voice. I sit and laugh at it because I do watch it back because obviously when I'm channeling them and stuff like that, I don't I don't know what they're saying. I just go with yeah. the flow, you know what I mean? So when I go back and I watch it, I do sit there and giggle because you've got, you've got this big man voice thing that comes in, then this woman <laughs> comes. I can like, see how it took courage to do it, yeah. I can yeah. definitely see how it took courage yeah. to do it. It's so amazing. And I like oh, it. Really mystical, thank you. Yeah. And I'm, I am I one of those together, Yeah. I think together, with, uh, that's why I think the Witchy 101 works. And I also think that is why our clan group get on so well. We've got the private clan group where it's Sister Sherry and I and Mystical, uh, Eve, no, no, Eve, Eve's not in that one, I don't think. Um, all the different mm -hmm. sisters are in it. And then, We've got the clan WhatsApp group, sorry, the, the teaching group, the Witchy 101 yeah. group. So, guys, remember, you can come over to WhatsApp and things if you've got that as well and have a bit of a chit-chat in there with us. We'll put the links for that up after this as well. Yeah. And it just keeps us all connected and it keeps us all talking and things. But yeah. I feel that when we started the Witchy 101, that the people that... Well, fair enough, it's you, I, it's you and me in Mystical that kind of lead it. But there's so many other people in there. We were talking a bit about this before we went live. There is yeah. so many people in the clan, guys, that can teach you so much. There's Uncle Danny, wait till you hear his teachings. There's Christina, wait till she help, teaches you how to talk to the energies and get them ready to cross over and things. There's so many different sisters. Phoenix, now where do you start with Phoenix? Phoenix is so good at prayers. She's so good at keeping people motivated. She's such a sweetheart lady. She's so kind. She's very, the first very open. message in the morning. Very, very open. Yeah. And Eva, what can you say? Do you ever meditate without music? I find it easier outside without it. I do do med meditation without music, and I could maybe try it with you one day, just using my voice and talking you through it. But I just thought to start it all off, it would be good doing the music and the talking. But, I do, yeah, I do meditation without music, and I think my voice would be all right. I think it'd still go under with my voice because yeah. of the way it is. But Yeah, I think, yeah, I would definitely say that. I think if you're already in your magical space, you're already in that zone, then the voice would be enough for me, definitely. Yeah. Um, Evie's saying she can't get WhatsApp. She doesn't know how to. Oh, right. Okay, I'll send you the link, Evan. We'll try and get you on there. So you're just going to have to just come, like, keep coming over to my normal. channel to check that out for the meditation, guys. It's normally on a Sunday I put that out. There's going to be another one this week as well. Haven't made it yeah. yet, so I might try and go and find the one that Sister Drew likes and try and put that one on again and maybe I'll put something it. out in it. it. See right if it, there, opens it open it even more. I'll put some other sort of wording and stuff and into it to see if it takes me to another level and stuff like that. Maybe bring a couple of my drum tones in and stuff and see if that takes you yeah, off anywhere. Yeah, guys, I would yeah. Yep, I definitely recommend that, and I'm not, and I'm not joking. I think it's one of those meditations, whether you, you meant it or not, that's meant to take you to a separate journey that you're on now. Because as I said, my daydreams, I can go there to my manifesting realm, but I've never been in that realm before that I go to in this meditation, never. And I feel it's my past, but I'm going to do more research on it and see where it does really take me. 
I just need time, guys, a couple hours to myself. And getting a couple hours to yourself in my house is very rare. <laughs> Maybe you could do it when you come down here, sis, because you won't have no disruption. You'll be able yes. to just sit there and relax, lay on my sofa yeah. and that, see what you do. Because I do it. I used to lay on my sofa, oh. put the music on, and I lay there a couple of hours just doing whatever, crystals, candles, that everything going. You'll be like, whoa. Well, I'm not going home. That's it. I'm definitely not going home. <laughs> I'll get it, guys. It was only a couple of weeks ago. I can't wait you know, to get warm up, out, so I can <laughs> sit on my balcony out the back, out the back side of my room, and listen and meditate with my earphones in. And that's what I'm saying. Even like if you, if you are feeling connected to my meditation, but you're not quite getting there yet, maybe like when it does get warm and you sit outside, you've got nature around you as well. It may take you off. You know, yeah. just sometimes people need another little element just to make it that little bit more perfect. Do you know what I mean? Like you're there, you know you're doing it, but it might bring that element in to make you a bit more easier going off. You know what I mean? So, and I think as long as you focus on Sister Sherry's voice, then you'll be fine because this is it here. This is on my, that's because I listen to it all the time. It's on my history. Right, create a post. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'll create a post and I'll share it on the community wall as well. I'll do that first. So I'll That's do fine. I'll always be on the community wall for these guys. That's okay? understandable, sweetheart. If you've got like workmen and people in your house at the minute, then it is going to be hard for you to settle. But like you're saying, once they've gone and that, you'll start doing it again. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But you know, like it, even just for five, ten minutes before you go to bed, putting it on, it's gonna help. My voice is like that. It's it my, I send my partner to sleep every time I talk, so I'm sure it's gonna help you to do something. Yeah, yeah I, I think mean, if it helps me, it'll help you. Yeah. I, I don't even sleep, guys. You're lucky if I sleep three hours at a time. I usually cat nap where I'll have maybe two hours, maybe three hours if I'm lucky. Then I'll have a, I'll go up and do something for hours, and then I'll have a cat nap again. So if this. I know it's stupid that, but I even listen to my own meditation music. Like, I used to just have the music, yeah, but when well, since I've been making it with my voice and that in, and I've been finding I've been going off asleep a lot more, and it's my own voice. <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> <but there you go. laughs> but that's the link there, guys, and there. That's the one I use constantly. I don't use any else now when I want to try and get to that space where I'm trying to communicate with what's in the other realms. See, that would be really good to see, Kerry. You you know about crystals and stuff, see? Yeah. Like, coming up and talking about that, because we are going to be doing shows on here about crystals, so it would be really good to have you come up. Definitely, Kerry, yeah. because we do need somebody that's going to help just focus on the crystal part of it. So if I was you, build up your confidence, because think about it, Series 2 will be starting next week, or whatever we want to call it. Sister Sherry yeah. can name the next series. Yeah, I named the first one. She can name the second one. Um, so, no, yeah, you know, series two. Um, because the mind was back to basics. So connection to all things mystical or Ooh. all things divine, something like that. Oh, you know I mean? yeah. So we we'll cover that. Nature, the crystals, the deities. What you know? That's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Oh, really, yeah. Isn't it? it covers everything. I yeah, think that sounds good, to up, to connection to all things divine. Oh, you know what I mean? Think that already want to watch it now. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one will probably be about the connection. What do you think? The first one will be about the actually trying yeah. to connect. I think the, 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 the I think the main thing to start talking about first is obviously like how you would spiritually connect to like um your divine energies because obviously when you're meditating and things like that as well like you need to be calling in like things like mother earth mother nature stuff like that just to help you be relaxed so yeah. if we help you to connect and learn about that you can bring that in and maybe you'll find that help you and heighten you as well yeah stuff, you know. Yeah, because i think once i investigate a little bit more of where I am in the meditation because the last time I done it the other day I didn't have enough time to go deeper into it so I think the next time I do it I'm going to make sure I set time aside and I'm going to really go deep into it I'll sit with a writing pad as well so that when I come out of it I write down everything straight away that I remember because I feel as if this is what's going to take me on my journey 
to find out maybe a bit about my past. Well, that's what you I'm know, hoping it's like doing. That. that is what I'm hoping yeah. it's doing. Like, so I know that you guys are all doing, we're all doing the Witchy 101. I know a lot of you are trying to find your spirituality and you're needing answers and that. And I'm doing trying to do meditation that keeps you safe but helps you to open as well. So it yeah. is really important that you have your books and that next to you. And anything you get, write it down because you will come to understand it. You'll see the patterns. Yeah. And stuff. I mean, it is important. See, I think that meditation, because I'm seeing myself from behind, I feel as if I have to follow myself. And I feel as if I have to follow myself to where I'm going because right now I am standing still in the daydream, with the daydream and the meditation. Hey, so as if I'm standing still, welcome in, Phoenix. So I'm standing still in my meditation, me being in the meditation. But my spirit is also standing still but i feel that if i kind of made my meditation as if i was going to walk forward i feel as if she will lead me somewhere so that is the next thing i'm going to do when i go into my meditation i'm going to put it into my mind that i want to be took down my path i want to see my path and then i think that maybe myself that's in the meditation i'll start to walk forward and take but that's what you do have to do like, you're not yeah. just going to sit there, put the music on, hear my voice, and it's all going to start happening. You do, even though you're maybe not directly talking out to me, you probably are thinking about it, even not realising it. You do have to direct yeah. that energy to want to go forward and that you want to be shown things, because then they will. You don't have to say it out loud. Just say, like, like in your head, I, 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 yeah. take me to where you want me to go so I can understand and so I can connect. Just do it in your head while you're doing that and let my voice guide you to it. Whenever you're ready, carry that time. Yeah, Gary yeah. said she's come up with her chemo. She's still taking her chemo brain. She's still got her chemo brain. She's sane. Oh, bless you. <laughs> it's okay, sis. We understand. Whenever you are ready, Kerry, there's no pressure. Hello, okay? sis. Welcome in, Luna. Yeah, so I feel as if the meditation, let's recap a little bit on the shows then, just quickly. So, the first one we've done was the getting introduced to ourselves. So, we introduced everybody to our own. Sorry, but we introduced ourselves to everybody. <laughs> and then the second show, what was that one again? The second one? Oh, whether the they second one was the witches. The witches. There were different types of witches yeah. and their faiths and whatever, which I am still trying and to upload. All the stuff on. And that's taken a so long many. time. My yeah, head, was, so I've many. had to give it a break because my head's been frazzled from where I've been putting the videos up and trying to remember <laughs> everything. It's just, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm getting I back think... to that again. Yeah, I think this weekend we're all going to chill a little bit. Tomorrow night I'm interviewing Luna right enough, guys. You'll need to come along for that. That'll... Do you know something? Okay. I know this has nothing to do with the Witchy 101. Sorry, this is a bit distracting. But I have been, I was saying this to Misty earlier, Misty Mountain. I've been in a lot of panels with Luna, Misty Mountain as well, and different people. Um, and I've knew them in chats and different things and different facebook groups and more whatsapp groups and things but i've never really spoke to them one-to-one -one, especially missed yeah. it so that is what all the saturday shows are about guys these new interviews it's about me actually speaking to people that i've been on panel with or people that is in the community or even just want me to talk to them that's what it's really about i want to start getting to know who's all in the community so i'll be interested to talk to you one-to-one -one, Luna. How are you, Luna, sis? I hope you're all right. I hope all of my angels are okay. But, yeah, yeah so we had, like, the... We had the introduction, and then we had the... um. It was the, uh, you know, the different types of witches and that. And witches. there were so many of them. And then the, I think the third one was the shadow, wasn't it? Shadow work? Yeah, something like... Yeah, I'm going to look up. I'll tell you just now. I'll get the playlist up on my channel. And we'll do a bit of a recap, guys, right? That's what we're meant to be doing anyway. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's find them. Well, we got right. stuck on Sherry's meditation, but it is really good. But, that, but, that's, but I think that's the key to helping a lot yeah. of people, though. I really do. I think that the meditation has always been the way to help you connect. So I feel that now that I've definitely found the one that takes me to that space, I feel that I'm going to connect to my higher energies that I want to talk to. Whereas, as I've told you before, my daydreams and things have only really been about manifesting my dreams or manifesting health issues for people and 
things in that more of a level. I've never really delved into my past before, so that's what I'm saying. This is going to be interesting about. Yeah. Let's see what their other ones were. Right. Where's the... Oh, God, my goodness, playlists. Where are those? What do you want to want? There's so many playlists on my channel, guys. Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> I deleted so many playlists and they're all starting to come back on again because I've got all these new ones, Witchy 101, Witchy 102, the I'm bloody yeah, the channel yeah. my channel and <laughs> meditation I think, ones. And <laughs> I know, I think I better go over and get a little bit. They must be at the top. Why is it not at the top? Astro's at the top. Astro team, that's where I put all my shorts. Where the hell's Witchy 101? Yeah, I'm going to have to edit some of these. I mean, some of these are really old as well, like when I was learning tarot and things. Lost Magic, yes. there we go. Meditation and AIDS, that's the ones that I do, that I've got uh, your meditations in. What do you want to want? I've still got my, I've still got my um, shows from the other places because some of the shows we did were really good. You know what I mean? I ain't getting rid of them. Yeah, one right so our first one was back to basics i called the thing wasn't it so it was getting to yeah. know us and then the second one was the different witches as we thought then it was and shadow then, work i'm sure the third one was come on up see the adverts meditation first. oh meditation yeah. then shadow meditation, work i think yeah then meditation then shadow work, work. Yeah, meditation, shadow work. And then we had a review show, remember? Yeah, review. Um, and then we, no, that's Christina's, I put in the four ones. And then we did the altar tools. We did the one about the altars. altar tools, yeah. Magical tools. And then the last one we did was show seven, and it was. Oh, no, yeah, that's that. That other one, that last one was altars and why we have them. Yeah, yeah. So there you go, guys. It's a bit. That's what I'm saying. I think maybe we'll stick. The, we'll keep them at seven shows, and next week we'll start to do series two, uh, and we'll take it for there. But I'm glad that none of these have got any questions or these have not got any concerns. I'm really glad that. Sorry, I'm we will be doing a <laughs> We will be talking to you about a lot of things. We will be bringing things like the tarot cards and all yeah, of that. Yeah, we'll it's all witchy, well. linked, you know what I mean? Witchy linked. So, yeah, we're going to learn yeah. you about how to do your tarots and, your, you know, like runes and stuff like that, if you want to do that. like. Yeah, I think that will probably come after connection because see, once yeah, you that'll connect, be on you want to talk yeah. to. Yeah, it's much like the one that we were talking about um like the divine, oh, I've not done that show yet, but that's what we'll be talking about when the divine energies. Remember, you really need to remember who you want to talk to. That's important. You don't just go into like a spell work or meditation. No, well, I don't know about meditation so much. You can kind of do that with that. But usually when you're starting something, you've got somebody in mind. Like usually a lot of my spells, it's my gran that I ask to help me if I'm doing healing and things. Or if I'm doing like something like with my candles and things like that, and I want to do that, I'll ask for Hecate to come and work with me. So remember, that's all important as well as who you want to work with. Think a little bit about I that. I mean, Sister Sherry works with Freya. I work with Hecate. The two of them are goddesses in the underworld together. They're like a team. They're like a clan, like us, if you like. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And she is Freya, and then it's Bridget, and you know, he Kate's There's another so one many. that I work with, yeah. she's awesome. But Stephanie, the Stephanie's the one about the horses, she just thinks quick, even with the meditation, even though you can do it either way. I always, always connect to a divine energy because I find that it takes you so much further, and you're protected as well when you're doing yeah. it. So, even just sitting there, you don't have to call out to them and summon them in, just say. I'm going into my meditation state and I'm asking for so-and-so to come forward and communicate mm. and help me go on my path and to keep me uh, protected. That's all you've got to do. And they'll be, they'll happily come along on your journey with you. They love it. 
Yeah. I think, I see, that's interesting you say that because I feel a little bit of excitement. See, as I've told you this before as well, see, whenever any of the kids are going somewhere and I always say to Timber, Timber, go with Liam or go with Zach, I always feel his excitement as if he's jumping oh, yeah, up they love it. They love it. And it's the they same do, with the do. energy guys. Some days when I come down here and I sit here with Hecate for a little 10 minutes or something usually in the morning, I don't usually light a candle because I can't sit with it. But I'll sit here some days and I'll just have a cigarette or something and I talk to her. But yeah, you know, when, as soon as I come through the curtains in the morning or the afternoon, and usually the time I come through the curtains, you know that she's ready, she knows that you're you're coming to do the, the usual routine, and you'll get to remember those energies when you start doing it over and over again, guys. You you one day you walk in here and you're like, I don't feel that energy. That's because you're maybe either late coming in or you're too early or something, and she's not arrived here yet. But you'll get to feel all that, and it's interesting. And, you know, once you get connected to them properly, they'll come to you when, when you want them to. And the thing is, is this what I took, like, why do you think that we've got the energies in that here? Like, why do, you, why do you think they're here? Because they want to be on that journey with you. They want to show you about you. And they want you, they want to be able to see you achieve those goals that they're trying to get you to do. So when you ask them to come along, even on something as small as a meditation, they love it. They're like, oh, my God, like, yeah. she's like, they're doing it. They're doing it. Like, yeah. I felt part. that a lot when I first started with Santa Marta. Yeah, my dog's the same. Yeah. She's at my feet. Um, I found that a lot at the beginning with Santa Marta. I felt that she that every day I would just say thank you for taking me on this journey. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for giving me the focus that I needed to get on with my life. And I found that when I, even before I had the altar guys and I was just using a candle, I felt as if she knew that at that moment in time was when I was approaching her. And I felt that every day, it wasn't as if it was coming from me, like, I'm getting up to do this. I felt as if she was pushing me to do it, you know what I mean? Like, she was in the room with me, kind of making me go do it, because I felt as if she knew that I would slip back if I didn't have her energy around me to push me to do it. And it's not until you look back, guys, that you will realise all of this. At the time, you don't know it. You just know you're getting up to go do what you have to do. It's not until you sit yeah. back and you analyse it that you realise they were pushing me to go do that, so I didn't slip yeah, and back they will. into the depression. That's what yeah. they're supposed to do, and it's like Kerry's saying, I was always circular, so I only used my own energy, but my path is changing, so connections have changed too. Yeah, but the thing is, is sometimes... Yeah. That's where people go wrong because they try to use their own body body energy and they forget that sometimes you need that fulfillment and that uplifting. That's why your energies are there. Your your deities and stuff are there to keep you, you know, energized and keep you going forward. And I, I think that anybody that's doing anything spiritual or doing anything to do with spell work and that should have some form of deity I'll to work that. with. Because using all of your own energy, you're just going to make yourself unwell in the end or it's not going to go right. Like, you do need some form of energy to help bring you forth, in my opinion. I've always yeah. used deities and stuff oh, yeah. like that. You know? Ever, if you didn't, guys, you would just be aimless. Aim, you would just be shouting out there aimlessly for anything to come and work with you. So that's pretty dangerous to do that, especially if you're starting off. I mean, I don't really know if there's a, a solid solution to this. Maybe Uncle Danny can help you with this when he comes up. But if you are struggling to find somebody to call out to, I think Uncle Danny would probably advise you to call out for Archangel Michael. Because Archangel Michael will work with absolutely anybody in the planet on any situation whatsoever. All you have to do is focus and say, Archangel Michael, can you please come and guide me, either right now in this moment or in my path? And I think my, uh, uh, there's other angels as well, though, but I don't know them that way. Saint, well. Saint Michael, uh, you know, Archangel Michael is very much a universal energy. He, he He's good for a lot of different things even though he's really good for his protection and that he's one of those energies that are just out there and everybody seems to call on so you know he's yeah. a really good one to work with you've got Urel and you've got Raphael you've got those ones as well yeah. they're really good to work with 
I only work with the basic ones. So I have like Michael, Urel, Raphael. I, I I work with the matron as well. She's really good for certain yeah. things, you know. But I don't go for every angel. There's only certain ones that no. I work with that I have a connection with. You know what I mean? But it doesn't mean that I wouldn't yeah. use the other one. If there was a problem or something that they were, especially, uh, you know, especially in because Christine, I'll tell you why. <laughs> so Christine, I'll tell you why. She has had a lot of experience with angels. <laughs> and she'll tell yeah. her that. Christine is not too, too, not too comfortable with angels <laughs> and stuff like that. I will put that forward. Yeah. That's not okay, all bad. Sister Mastico. Don't worry about that. They're not all bad. Yeah. So, guys, the, the shows are just an hour tonight because it was just a recap. And um, if there's anything you want to add, anything that you want to say to us that you want us to do, is there anything you think we have missed? Anybody you want us to try and get up as well to come on and teach us, to have a word with us? Let us know do all because we'll definitely try. Do any of you watch that medium Nikki Allen? Ooh, she connects yeah. to angels. To be honest, I don't I don't follow a lot Ooh. of other mediums because I because of me being myself, I don't like following other mediums because it just overtracks and I just see so much in other mediums that are not real, so it really ir irritates me. So I intend to not follow other mediums and stuff like that. I've yeah. got girls and people I'm connected to in the community, but I know them personally, and I've seen that they can do amazing stuff like Luna and all that. You know, Sister Drew's starting to do yeah. like that. It's mystical. But anybody that's on the outside of this community, I don't entertain. I don't yeah, entertain remember, people. guys, a lot of us have been hurt before with a lot of people as yeah. well. There's been a lot of people kind of... Um, and a lot of them are about this. Not, they yeah. don't care about you. They care about this. You know what I mean? We know within our that. community, everybody that is in our community, we trust, we know they're yeah. real, and we that's why we know that they're good for you guys as well. So anybody you ever see in the chat and you know where I meet them and you want to talk to them about anything, remember they're there to talk to guys. We're, we're, we're all human, we all have problems, and I'm quite sure Luna is amazing at it, Sister Sherry's amazing at it, Uncle Danny. Phoenix, most of them are amazing mediums, guys. Uh, mystical, most of the ladies are mediums. I don't know so too sure about Christina, but if there's a question that you want specifically answered, go to their messengers, ask. That's all you Spiritual can do is ask. For me. When it comes to being yes, a medium, I'm not a medium. Because I don't like, there's a big equivalent against what a medium is in a spiritualist. A medium intends to hear see everything i only see what they want me to see and hear you know what i mean so i'm a spiritualist i say because as you're gonna have everybody jumping on yeah. your head thinking we can tell them left right and center and uh, that doesn't yeah. happen with yeah. you know I mean? yeah see i'm still getting educated to know that as well guys i am i guess i am jump. psychic i am psychic but i'm not psychic to the level like some people apparently are you know what i mean so I'm assuming I'm not a witch. I don't need to work with them. I will ask Tina for the praying. <laughs> I don't know whether it'd be offended or not by that, Christina. <laughs> I That's think it's thing. that New it's York. Um, you can't, you can't <laughs> put down to one bad experience that they're all the same because they're not all the same, you know what I mean? And I've Thank worked with them for years and years and years and I've never had a bad experience with angels. You know what I mean? So... You know, it's, uh, but you don't trust them because of what happened to you, and we get that. You know what I mean? I, but they're not all like that. Yeah. I thought you were talking about witches. I thought she was talking about witches. Not and then that's what she's saying. <laughs> that I don't want. I don't want to connect with them. So she's going on about the angels as well. Oh, right. But just because right, you're a witch okay. doesn't mean that you connect to angels. Being a witch doesn't mean connecting to angels, darling. It's just some of us choose to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And everybody has, and there you go, everybody's had their own experiences as well. So that's a, that's another prime example of how we're all different. Like when you're Luna, you are amazing. You just need to know it. 
when you hear the word witch, everyone presumes it's standing in front of cauldrons all the time and they're casting that. There's so many different types of witches. There's witches that just do tarot card readings, rune readings. They, you know, some of them don't cast spells. They do everything through their reading. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we that's don't all sad. cast spells. <laughs> yeah. And we know more than anybody, guys, that there's bad yeah. witches and things out there. We know that. Oh, yeah. That's why we try and be... With I've come face to face with a few of them trying to do yeah. shit to me. But oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like There's a few times I've been I'm sleeping in scary faces. I've come up in my face. Yeah. And I've knew oh, You're not monetized on me. Is this? What? Oh, you're monetized on this video because I just swore on your video. I do apologize. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It doesn't mean don't get <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> I swear all the time. I think the oh, AI yeah, thinks the angels I was talking words. about. I've met a few. I don't like any of them as friends. I just would call on them. I just wouldn't call on them. Yeah, but that's your choice, sis. Do you know what I mean? Not every, not for angels yeah. and not for everybody. You know what I mean? You've got other energies that you work with and you feel comfortable with. So, you know. Yeah, exactly. See, I think a lot of the time uh, as well, it depends on the experience with things. I mean, think about the amount of people that's had a bad experience at Greyfriars, for example. And, and yet, Greyfriars to me is one of the most places I've been to that I've had great experiences. I've never had anything bad yet. Yeah. <laughs> but it yeah. shows you how everybody can go somewhere or to something and everybody have a different experience. Oh, I'm oh, a nature female. girl. Can't really say that, Christina. I'm one of the biggest nature girls out there going. You know what I mean? I'm with nature most yeah. of the time and work with most of my energies in nature, but I still work with my angels. And there are some things that yeah. angels can do that nature and other things can't do. That's what you've got to remember. Not every energy can do everything. So you will maybe one day need something to do with an angel or something. That's what I'm saying. But that is why we love you, Christina. Uh, yeah. She's adamant she's, she's never going near an that? angel. So God help her when she <laughs> dies, yeah, and she sees it. She's probably gonna be quite <laughs> picking it out of the bloody day. I to go to hell. There's angels here. Every way I'm gonna quietly chop. Don't you no, come near me. <laughs> but your tongue share as you see. Sorry, my tongue's <laughs> 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 that's why we're all different it takes a world to make what, I can't even remember what my granny used to say about it takes many colours to make a flag but there was something else she said as well I can't even remember it <laughs> it was a great scene for this moment <laughs> right yeah, well guys I'm going to let you all get back well, to your Friday night is there anything you want to say <clears throat> before we go I, you have you know I have my permanent sister. Wait to put that up on the screen. <laughs> and of course we're going to talk. You know I have my permanent sister this. and uncle out here. Oh, you yes, are a remarkable, remarkable I'm sister, blessing, guys. and you're so ta you're so talented. You need Phoenix to come up with us, first... sis. You really do. Yeah. Very, she very talented. So many of you got so many talents, don't waste them. I tell you that the dragons have been telling you about wasting your talents, so come on. Yep, let's give you all a little challenge, guys. Okay, the new series that's coming up, why don't you try your best in this new series that's coming up? I think it'll probably start next week or maybe the week after. We'll see, it's up to Sister Shara. Um, why don't you give yourself a little challenge? See if you can come up even for just five minutes with your camera off. See if you can do it. And even just say hello. My name is Eva. I'm what you 101 student. Whatever you want to say, Evie give yourself a couple of minutes. They yeah, both have been talented. Evie, Christine, uh, um, Tina. Even Christine is starting to open and things as well. Luna. There's so many of you that are so amazing. That's what I'm saying. And we didn't just do Witchy 101 for me. We went to the Mystical to sit. We've done it for you guys to come over as well. Now, and I'm not being funny, but 
I'd love to sit in the grove, you know what I mean, Christina? So I yeah. can get in oh, that love... room because it is beautiful. It's beautiful. I really would love to actually just step foot on any Uncle Danny's land because I do believe that you would feel that mysticalness there on any of the land that's the grove, yeah. the grove is on, you know, even at his front door. <laughs> Evie is wonderful, guys. Honestly, I've got no idea just how great that lady is at tarot readings, and she's she amazing. needs to do them more. Yeah, she is amazing. And a lot of other things I do believe, but she doesn't share. Yeah, oh. I've gone to the Grove. I've not been there for a while, right enough. I've not been to the Grove for a couple of months. I'll need to go a visit. I'll need to go a visit. I keep forgetting about the Grove these days. I don't know why. Such it's now in my memory. Such an angel, sweetheart. I'm I'm happy to be on any of the prayer lists. You do as much as you want, it, you know, more love, more help. Yeah. Well, I do the same Can for I you. Just, I put all the I'm in my prayers Yep. See, my, when I usually, when somebody asks me for prayers, I usually will say to my guys, guys, can you please add Evie to the prayer list? And then usually when I go to pray at night or if I'm sitting at my altar, then my guys automatically know who is all on that list because I've told them. But I, I like the idea that Evie showed us in the clan where she's got a little note and it's all written down with people's names all nice. I like that idea. I'll maybe do that and just keep it pinned at the back of the altar Evie. or something. I don't think so, but thank you. Evie, you are absolutely amazing. You need to believe in yourself oh, wow, a bit more. Evie, you've been spot on with every reading you've given me. Every reading. Don't make me point at you. The both of us are pointing at you, Evie. The wee nose will twitch and things will happen. <laughs> I definitely need that. Yeah, definitely send out prayers to our mystical guy. She is the most yes. amazing person on this planet. Okay, please. She's always here for everybody as well. Yeah, pups, mum, and pups, mystical. Just pray for everybody. Every night, I put all of you in my oh, prayers. It don't even matter if, they, if you're okay. I always put you in my prayers. Please look over my brothers and my sisters. Please look after my fam. Make sure they're safe. Like help them on their journeys. Blah blah blah. I do all this every yeah. single night, as well as putting my kids and my family in as well. You know what I mean? But I do. I pray for all of you every yeah. every night. Definitely, Kim. Go to the Uncle Danny's Chasing Bones Inspector channel, and there's a playlist on there. It is about him building the grove, and he puts in every post and things, and he'll show you who they all are. Sister Sherry and I is in there as well. We have got a witch tree each, and we've got our own tree. We've got a druid tree and a sherry tree, and we've got our witches bushes in there as well. So definitely go check out Uncle Danny. Put a lot of work into that. He did. In order to build a grove, yeah, he had to build it himself. It had to be his labour that built it. So he had to do all the digging out and everything, guys, and he put in so much work to it. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, we know she's got the flu and everything and that, but obviously she's still poorly at the minute and on antibiotics, so it'll be good to just keep the prayers going for her. Keep, keep her strength up, up you know yeah. what I mean? And also to keep the family in your prayers, guys. Because remember, usually the family's who keeps the patient strong. That's why if I send out, I'm sending prayers to, to Nana and I'm sending strength to Uncle Danny because usually it's the family that keeps the patient upbeat, keeps them knowing that they're going to be okay. So always send the family strength at the same time you send the prayers. That's what I do anyway. Yeah, mystical and Danny's mum, and obviously pray for pups as well because pups is going to be needing all the all the prayers as well because he's having to help out and he's yeah. got a lot of doing it as well. Christina, you another thing that we can help see an uncle bush or something like we're all family in that pray for each other. Yeah, of course, exactly, guys. We are all one huge community that is here. We're none of us are better than each other we're all here as a family to help push each other through the bad times clap each other on the back in the good times be a light in the dark times you know we're here for each other for anything that you need anything okay remember we're not just here to teach you spiritual ways and witchcraft and 
to be a paranormal investigator. We're not just here for that. We're also here for the friendship, the camaraderie yeah. as well, the unity of us sisters. We're here for all of that, you know. So remember that, guys, going on into the future. Yeah, just, just stay together, guys. Like Sis said, we are getting to the hour mark, aren't we? And we weren't going to yeah, stay we're on the page. Yeah, because I'm not really get much right. else to say, guys. And I don't really want to yeah. keep you all here just to rabble on. You know why the witch you want. I don't mind if you rabble on, Sis. I'm sure they don't. <laughs> it just sounds a little bit odd on the podcast side of it. <laughs> it's just talking rubbish. It is. Uh, you know, it is beautiful. <laughs> We've got a close, we've got a very beautiful community and family, you know what I mean? And we're very, very gifted and we're very lucky to have each other and that. And we've all we're all unique and different, exactly. and that's what makes us perfect. You know what I mean? All of us. Yeah, and that's what makes you guys a perfect audience as well. Because you guys are great. You guys always keep the chat going, you always talk to new people coming in, you make everybody welcome and He's a great community, so I just want to say that back to you. He's okay for all you think that we are great. We also think you are great, <laughs> and this is for the people listening back as well. Okay, not just the people in the live stream. So on that note, I am going to say goodbye. Then I'll hand it over to my sister to say goodbye. I uh, look forward to the new series, guys, on the Witchy One Hundred and One. Sister Sherry's got the honour of naming that and putting it up on her channel for next week. So. Keep an eye out on that channel to see what she's going to call it. Okay, oh, yeah. so I'm going to say goodbye for tonight and I'm going to see you all tomorrow at 9.30 UK time for my interview with, Mis um, no, with Lunar. Sorry, I was going to say Mystical. <laughs> with Lunar Eclipse, so that will be interesting. So good night, guys, and it's over to my sister. Yep, yeah, like Sister Drew said, firstly, I'm, I'm definitely not live tonight. I don't know if there's anyone else live tonight. Um... I just want to say thank you for all of you coming in and always supporting us on Witchy 101. It does mean a lot. And we are doing this for you guys. And, um, you know, we're here, like Sister said, we're not just here to be um, your educators. We're your family. We're your friends. And we love you all and we appreciate you all. And just have a very lovely Friday evening. Thank you for tuning in with us. And we hope that you are getting all of the benefits from Witchy 101 and more to come in, like Sister said. Look out for my channel next week and you'll see the new heading for series two. So love and light and blessings. And I'll America be easy on you, on you enough. Very, very soon. <laughs> okay, thank everybody. Thank you for coming. And it's a pleasure we to you. actually know you all. Good night. We love you. Guys. I'll play the outro. Love you guys. Loads. Okay. And I'll play the outro. Bye-bye, guys. And blessings for Scotland, as always.